thank you so much shekhar for this kind invitation a very good afternoon to all of you it's a great pleasure to be here and i am truly impressed by all the presentations i saw today morning uh, i am from satara university which is not just uh, which is not just a university but a truly unique initiative not just in india but the whole wide world uh, but before getting into that let me just briefly introduce myself uh, i did my btech uh, and phd from it madras in 2005 and 2009 Uh, after that i did a postdoc uh, from the weizmann institute of science in israel uh, uh, after that i was a regular faculty in it delhi for 5 years uh, then a regular faculty at isr bhopal for 4 years uh, but i thought a uh, government job bahut ho gaya let's try something different uh, so i spent 2 years in two startups uh, but wo corporate culture itna samajh mein nahi aaya so then i came back to academia uh, and i have been at sitare since the last one year so why am i calling sitare university a unique un uh, initiative The most unique feature about Sitare University is that the education at Sitare is completely free of cost. रहना, खाना, पढ़ना, everything is completely free of cost. However, the criteria is that the students must be bright, which means that they must have a good score in JEE mains, and they must be from very poor background. So the average annual income of our students is around 1.5 lakhs per annum. You know, they are like kids of farmers, you know, and truck drivers and people from really really rural areas but extremely smart students you know for me personally it was a actually a kind of a shock to see that such bright kids can also come from such backgrounds uh, so this university was started in 2022 our campus will come up near indore but currently we are operating from, operating from lucknow uh, and as you can see our founder is dr amit singhal who is also an acm fellow and he was the one who was responsible for google search for 15 years Uh, so all the googling that you do he has literally built it out of his own hands uh, so yeah so our first batch was taken in in 2022 and we had 23 students last year we took our second batch which had 44 students and in the coming uh, august semester we are planning to take around 150 students and we provide only cs education uh, primarily because you know our goal is to uplift these students out of poverty and currently if you look at the job market you know most of the jobs are in the it sector but yeah in the future if you see manufacturing electronics also coming up in india then we will also open up in those domains but currently we are uh, providing a btech in computer science our curriculum is also truly unique uh, we are a four year program uh, but our courses are completed in three years you may ask how is that possible the answer is that we do not teach all the physics chemistry all the workshop and all the thermodynamics to computer science students because we don't really see that is necessary for most of them we teach them maths Uh, whatever is required to to pursue you know algorithms machine learning and stuff like that uh, but our courses are completed in 3 years and they are completely industry focused uh, the fourth year is to be spent completely in the industry so we we have already started talking to industry partners our founder himself is a investor in more than 60 startups in india and abroad uh, so and uh, right from the first year students start getting paid internships so for example last summer all our 23 students went for paid internships to bangalore bombay bhatinda you know and various parts of india and all of them had a you know truly a, a, a amazing experience who is an ideal faculty for sitare university somebody who loves teaching so you know typically almost all the universities in india because of nirf ranking are running after you know some uh, publications in some uh, you know some index journals and stuff like that we do not have any such thing uh, because we don't charge fees from our students and we are not after any kind of rankings Uh, so we don't really worry where you publish what you publish that is totally your personal thing we are caring about teaching you know that's a that's a delay, you know a interesting dichotomy in india that uh, you know most universities exist for teaching including iits uh, but all the rankings and all are based on publication which is a very you know weird kind of a, a situation that exists in india so we don't have that problem Uh, we are completely focused on engineering we don't i don't think we will ever even apply for this nirf ranking because uh, you know we we don't we don't we don't really care for that so for us it is necessary that a faculty who joins sitare has to truly love teaching not just as a chore to be done because it is paying me money but truly you have to care for the uh, for the students and you have to have a very deep empathy for students truly care for their well being uh, of course you need to have a strong hold on your subject matter you may not have published in some truly great journals but your basics have to be uh, you know very very strong you know the mathematical details the coding uh, uh, being able to do hands on exercises with the students uh, that has to be done uh, you know very very well 
and of course you need to be uh, you need uh, you have to be willing to learn new pedagogical techniques so we are not a conventional university who just teaches go somebody goes to the classroom and gives a lecture comes back no we are not that kind of a university we truly believe in innovation if you talk to me i can share more details with you later on about what kind of new and novel techniques we are using in our teaching techniques and we also have a lot of mentors from us from stanford university from princeton from cornell a lot of these people who are guiding our faculty to develop these new ways of teaching uh, to make sure that the students learning is very very effective and the result of all this you know you may be hearing that in colleges in general the attendance is very poor you know students don't come to classes but in our institute the attendance is always 100% unless the student is sick or has some other uh, you know issue that's a different thing but otherwise on a normal day our attendance is 100% because of two reasons first of all our curriculum is very specially designed to ensure that whatever we teach is relevant for the student we don't teach arbitrary you know useless stuff and our teaching methods our teaching style is designed in such a way that the students actually take active interest in the course and what are the faculty attractions why should you join satari university the first thing is that there are our students are very committed to learning and they are very very sincere as you know because they are very very bright and they come from very poor background so so learning these things is the only way they have to jump out of their poverty so the the teaching experience here is truly amazing i have taught at iit delhi i have taught at isr bhopal but the pleasure of teaching at sitare is uncomparable to anything i have experienced ever in my 10 years of teaching career in other places and this i'm not saying just to advertise sitare but it is actually a fact you know you will if you come to us even for some time spend a few days with us you will get to see that the experience of teaching at sitare is completely different from any other university Uh, the teaching load is usually much lower than other private universities in other private universities it is like 16 hours around 15 16 hours here we have 10 hours uh, there is also financial support to pursue research abroad so you know typically you know as i said i have been talking a lot about teaching so you may say okay i did a phd what about research so although we do not really look into your publications we don't really care whether you publish in you know a star or a or b or wherever but if you want to do research we will support that wholeheartedly so let's say you have a collaboration with some university in the us and you want to spend the summer over there and you are unable to get some you know grants from somewhere we will sponsor your flight tickets and your stay in the us during the summer and that is uh, that is written on our in our brochure which i'll be giving to you i have this bro brochure printed i will be sharing with you please do make sure that you collect it so so uh, i would like to emphasize on this point that although we are focused on teaching we primarily look into your teaching skills and your subject uh, hold for hiring but we understand that having done a phd you would like to continue research and the same holds for me i am also continuing my research so we do provide financial support of all kinds uh, to be able to enable you to do that and of course if you want to commercialize your product no better place than sitare because our founder himself is an investor in 60 odd companies and he would love to have you know the 61st company from a Uh, from a faculty member at uh, you know sitare university uh, and there is zero publication pressure as i mentioned and the most important thing you know is that you have a opportunity to make a significant contribution to society you know imagine that thousands of students who are coming from such poor backgrounds you know with an annual income of less than 2 lakhs per annum after you know four years at sitare university they start earning 12 lakhs 15 lakhs 25 lakhs but and now you know imagine the kind of prosperity that it will bring not just to their families but to their village their society it will be a truly transformational movement uh, so with this i end my talk if you have any questions here i would love to answer otherwise i'll also be available near the poster area where i would love to interact with you thank you so much so uh, so uh, so we don't we don't care for the nir uh, or for, uh, for any kind of this qs nirf rankings and we are fully funded by our founder so we don't have to go to anybody for money and we don't even seek money from our students so we don't have to impress anybody so you don't seek money from students means the fees is low you say zero zero, zero. Oh, sorry i missed your initial yeah speech. yeah zero it's completely free of cost rehna khana padhna sab completely free but so teachers are paid no uh, through, uh, so the students are selected through jee mein ha ji a teacher sir paid i am i am paid more than what i was paid at iit so so if i was yeah so let me also clarify that I think I didn't mention that. So you will see it in our JD on the on LinkedIn. 
that if I was, let's say, a faculty at IIT today with whatever experience I have, I am getting paid more at Sitaria than what I would be getting paid at IIT Delhi or ISAR Bhopal. So free doesn't mean that, you know, that teachers also, teachers are not funding the university. <laughs> okay, <laughs> It is being funded by the founder. I am, I am getting paid more than what I would uh, be getting paid at IIT Delhi. So, you know, let me clarify that completely. Okay, again, I apologize. I came late. Who are the founders? Yeah. So founder is Dr. Amit Singhal, who is an ACM fellow. And also he was responsible for Google search for 15 years. So he was an ex-SVP at Google from uh, until 2015. So it is the university is completely funded by him. So we don't have any publication pressure because we don't have to impress anybody. And students will come because of the kind of backgrounds they are coming from. And they pretty much don't have any other opportunity. Even if they go to, let's say, if, even if they get selected at say IIT or NIT, they have to pay a decent amount of money for either the hostel or, you know, something. And these people don't even have that much money. So that's why we don't have to worry about all those things. So how, how do you pick your uh, students? Yeah. yeah, the students come through JE mains. I see. And, and typically our uh, JE mains cutoff is around 93, 94 percentile. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how we select our students. And the economic background? Uh, economic background, the criteria is that their annual income has to be below 3 lakhs per annum. So the average is around below 1.5 lakhs. So some of them don't even have any income and they are just surviving, uh, they are just surviving on government aid. A lot of our students are also of that kind. So it's a, it's a truly unique initiative. You know, you will, you will be really touched if you spend some time in the university. It is, it is, it is nothing like anything you would have seen anywhere else before. But that much I can guarantee you. Not many students can get through JE without money. Right. So coaching, that's why so, coaching classes. So, so these so. students are really very good. So I these see. students are really, they are not, you know, random guys roaming on the village streets. They are, they are really very sincere, very good students. It, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Yeah. You, you, you must come there to see it for yourself. I will, for sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.